contestants, please give a warm welcome to Miss American Virgin Islands and Miss Argentina. Miss American Virgin Islands is Emolea Williams, she's 18 and a medical student, and Miss Argentina is Fernanda Fernandez, who is an 18 year old. There you have the ladies and gentlemen, American Virgin Islands and Our second two contestants, we have Miss Aruba and Miss Australia. Miss Aruba is Afranina Enriquez. She's a 21-year-old hotel, at a hotel school for hotel management in Aruba. And Miss Australia is not Nicole Smith, who's a 24-year-old working in public relations and promotions. That's Miss Aruba and Miss Australia. Thank you, ladies. Miss Belgium is Laurence Borimons, and she's 18 years of age, and at the moment she's a university student in Landwehr, and she is a student, but her ambition is to become a professional model. That's one. Bosnia and Herzegovina is Belda Zedreko. She's 18 years of age and at the moment she's a music student. And she is 20 years of age and studying social sciences, demography and economics. And she is joined by Miss Bulgaria. <laughs> Miss Brazil is Anushka Prado. She's 20 years of age and a student of economic students at university. That's Miss Brazil. Joined by Miss Costa Rica. Then she's really good. Miss Canada is Michelle Westwaldi. But her ambition is to pursue a career in environment protection or fashion marketing and design. Natalia Carvajal Lorenzo, who is 21 years of old, age and working as an international sales executive for a hotel. And I know that she is joined by Miss Curacao. And from Croatia, we have studying physical education. And from Curacao, we have Jan Trafalco, who is 19 years of age, who wants to give her a job. And this is Curacao. And now we move to, and this Czech Republic is joined by this Dominican Republic. From the Czech Republic, we have age and a professional model. And from the Dominican Republic, we have Nelsa Nunes Torres. I ran this hotel for five years. I moved to Bangalore. This was my highlight of my career. Thank you. And joined by Miss Estonia. Oh, Matty. 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 Where is she? She's in Bombay right now. From Ecuador, we have Jennifer Graham Dumas. And she is a professional model. But her ambition is to be an interior designer. There's a girl that this guy goes around with. To the picture. We need a picture. We need a picture. Beautiful. She doesn't open her mouth and she doesn't say a word. This got effects from... And they would like you to be closer together. Uh, so, thank you very much, no Miss Estonia. I've done a letter. And Miss Midland will be joined by Miss France. You've got a parallel set of equipment. Sounds like a bloody British auction. She's also studying to become a nurse. This is a computer property. Sabrina is a professional model, but her ambition... What's it? That's Miss Finland and Miss France. Thank you very much. 
The problem is the text number. We can't read the text number. We can't find the text number. We will send it to GGI and the notice says text on.
Ms. Nora, 24 years of age, and studying for law and languages. But she does have a foreign affairs. <laughs> Ms. Panama is Nora Erend Rodriguez of age, and a student of industrial engineering. Thank you, ladies. And now this is Maria Ingrid Gotze Scheidemann. <coughs> Daisy Rays. Daisy is a commercial model and also <laughs> and joining this web for the is this from the new. Now from Gretz, one years of age, an elementary school teacher. And in Romania we have Carmen Radoy, currently studying physical training and sports at university. From Russia we have Victoria Sabitsi, who is 17 years of age, and from the Seychelles we have pretty two years of age and an administration and operations assistant. That is Russia. And Miss Singapore is joined by Miss Slovakia. Miss Singapore, 19-year-old Carol Tan, is a full-time business. But her ambition will be pleased to know once again. From Slovakia, I just say she enjoys a lot of skiing and swimming, so she keeps her very active. Miss Slovenia is up. Miss South Africa is hoping to get into broadcasting and to gain a degree in communications. That's Miss Slovenia and Miss South Africa. Thank you, Lake. Spania is joined by Miss Swaziland. He's 19 years of age and a professional model. Now please welcome Miss Sweet. Miss Sweet is joined by... Look here. Now Miss Sweet is... In Switzerland is Melanie Winnegar, who is 17 years of age and a student hoping to become one day a lawyer. Switzerland, thank you ladies. And Mr. Tahiti is joined by Miss Taiwan ROC. And she's 18 years of age. Her professional model, her ambition is to become a vet. Tanzania is Jose, is Thailand, is Sabina Burbage. She's 17 years of age, professional model, but hoping to become a diving instructor. Thailand. Now please welcome Miss Trinidad, and she's joined by Miss Turkey. Miss Trinidad Tobago is a public relations officer. Miss Turkey is the Lille Austin. And she's consequently her ambition is That's Miss Trinidad Tobago and Miss Turkey. Thank you very much. Please now welcome Miss Miss Uganda is joined by Miss Ukraine. From Uganda we had an administrator for the Ukraine government. Thank you very much, ladies. And she's just joined by Miss United States.
United Kingdom and this United States. Thank you very much. Galarenta on me. And she's not <laughs> From Yugoslavia, we have 18 years of age and a student who's hoping to one day become a professional actress. That's Miss Uruguay and Miss Hispanic. And Alice is 21 years of age, funding from law degree at university. In one way, is Lombusa. Thank you very much. How is it going? What's the mood like? No one has said that. Okay, just say one word. How is it? <laughs> you know, it would be unfair to the others because I've said no to so many others. I'll give you all the answers tomorrow. Okay, just your feeling. I mean, Great. How do you feel to be here? Wonderful. <laughs> Positive, wonderful, and happy. How is it going so far? Great. <laughs> Are you nervous? Not about at all. <laughs> about what? Uh, you know what? <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm not nervous. Uh, you've got no reason to be no nervous. Do you think it makes a difference to India? Absolutely. Uh, and hopefully... You may as well finish it tonight. <laughs> hopefully a positive difference. Right. And I don't think we have reason to. It's a democracy and people have the right to think on their own. And, and the ladies who... I'm sad that it's happening in India because we were in a great projection. Otherwise we wouldn't have lent our name to it. You know, it's India... And we brought, this is globalized right now, and we're bringing the world to us. And it's a great opportunity, and if we don't use it, it's a shame because we'll, we'll be losing it. And if it's a handful of ladies or whatever. I, I, I respect the values, and I wish they would channelize the thoughts. I, I, I respect them, I admire them, what they're doing. It's a great cause. But I, in my opinion, we all have a right to our opinion, and mine just tends to differ with theirs. It's our centenary year, and we're doing lots of, charitable things like opening hospitals, cancer hospital in Delhi, management schools, the foundation for scholarships and uh, foundation for MIT and lots of other, um, you know, connected items like that for our centenary year. And we wouldn't have spent the money all the time or lent a name if we thought it was derogatory to the women. What could be Coming the significance for India? You know, and after breaking up with Dr. Nyandas, uh, is this a tactical move to get into ABCL, uh, I mean, to build with Miss World and ABCL? And partially, project? no, partially for, for the product and partially to um, put India on the map. On, since it was, I think it's a matter of prestige. We are bringing India onto the world map. And it was a great opportunity. It's the first time it's happening in India and we were approached by ABCL and it was a great honor. They, they wanted an Indian company, an Indian multinational rather than international multinational and we're very happy to be associated with it. Was it a tactical move in terms of Dr. Camel moving out from uh, Godric and that is why you got into this entire ABCL? Uh, no, it's not. No, that's not a public consumption why we got into it really. But uh, it was a, one of the parts of uh, an advertising strategy or part of a projection. But it really wasn't meant to be marketing or from that point of view. It was it was a prestigious thing to be putting it on the map. Do you, feel do, you perturbed, do you feel perturbed by the attack of uh, Godridge in Bangalore? And we are sad. Country? I'm sad about it. Because and everybody's it, been saying we are sad about it, but can you say something more than but that? Why? I mean, why do you think it's now, sad? That's a very provocative question. I could say a lot, lots of things about it. I'd rather not. Not tonight at least, maybe tomorrow. I could handle it a little better. I've just flown in from New York and I'm very tired. and <laughs> Not really, I wasn't prepared to handle the press tonight. It just came in as to watch, to meet the Morleys, Mr. and Mrs. Morley, because having, you know, we are with, with them. Uh, there are too many. <laughs> Thank you very much. How's your mood, especially with the Miss World Talent? Pardon? The mood? Oh, the mood is absolutely wonderful. Uh, the hospitality of the Indian people has been so tremendous that we couldn't have asked for anything better. We're delighted to be here. Did you have any apprehensions before this, before you came here? I never have any apprehensions about India. India has always looked after its guests very well and they've got a great image around the world. I watched your cricket last night and was thrilled when you won. Absolutely thrilled. I'm a member of the MCC and when I saw that final over, I was hoping 
Though I love Australia, I was hoping that you would win so that we have a good mood for us the next day. This ring of controversy around this uh, uh, Miss World uh, pageant, is, does it create uh, some fear? There's no controversy around Miss World because Miss World has been going now for 40 odd years. There's a controversy obviously about coming to India, but that I cannot understand because we are purely portraying a competition and India has been staging beauty pageants for over 30 years and you had a Miss World winner in 1966. I'm sad about it, but I respect the ladies who wish to object it. It's their, their right to object it as long as it's peaceful. We must always object peacefully. You see this as a long-term thing, continuing uh, the Miss World Championship in I, India? That is entirely a matter for the Indian people. We can only judge it as we go year by year. We're here this year. Whether we're here next year is a matter for the Indian people to decide. Thank you very much, sir.